I Zombie Season 4, Episode 6, My Really Fair Lady. This is a pretty cool episode. We got to see Liv kind of going into her first kind of moments of taking over for Mama Leone. Uh, we see her on like crazy super actor brains, which is pretty cool. Uh, they made the reference, I think, in the promo, but the woman who uh, Liv got the brains from is actually from uh, my crazy, I think it's just called Crazy Ex Girlfriend, which is another show on the CW. So I thought that was pretty funny that they had her on there. But Liv is on, you know, full theater brains, and so she's going through the process, doing the acting and the whole deal. And oddly enough, that actually worked for them because I don't know if she would have like the same level of crazy confidence if she'd gone through you know on different brains or if it was you know just her and she wasn't like you know crazy you know actor mode so i thought that was cool but i, I like the way it played out uh, we got to hear uh the actress uh rose mcgyver use her actual accent when she like plays you know she was basically playing herself they didn't have her in the makeup and um uh, you know she was using her actual accent and everything so i was like oh that's kind of cool we don't get to see her do that and she does like the really crappy american accent and everything so i thought that was funny her messing with the dude about lord of the rings um everything around that was pretty crazy too like we had some really good stuff like especially at the end when blaine finally does realize his dad is alive i love that scene where he's you know because i was just like he's like i figured he had to be in there like he's gonna walk around the corner and he's gonna see his dad and so he's like you know i really don't want to shoot people and it's just like crap it's you know it's my dad and of course they do like the jesus thing where he he breaks the bread apart and hands it off to two people um but i love that scene like the, especially the way it ended it was honestly it was oddly enough probably my favorite part of the whole episode it was like just that ending where his dad was like i forgive you and he's like you forgive me and he flipped out because it's like you know he's a child abuse like he abused his son and that's why blaine is kind of you know the effed up character that he is and it was just such like a small moment it's like i said at the very end of the episode but i thought it was such a good scene and now they have this you know crazy agreement where it's like you know they can uh, all the followers of his dad get to eat for free i think it was like every monday or something like that and it's just like that should be interesting to see how that ends up playing out now he knows his dad is alive they already knew the church stuff was weird because they had the one kid uh show up where he was trying to get like scraps or whatever so they already knew that that stuff was going on and then it's like this is who you know has been at the top the whole time is my horrible hu well i was gonna say horrible human well he was a horrible human of a father but horrible zombie um of a father as well so i thought it was a great ending uh the stuff with ravi and peyton they've been te teasing that for a while now so that they officially uh end up you know i guess back together by the end of this episode ravi went to like the extreme and that was so crazy i was just like i get it i know he's like madly in love with her but i was like that's such a terrible idea like he was it didn't get as bad as it could have been because you know this show like you never know how serious they're gonna get with the storyline because they do stuff where sometimes it's like that could come off super funny or it could be you know kind of like this it was like middle of the ground series where nothing bad actually happened but you know it was getting there or it could get really really bad so i like the way that that was handled and you know he's he just drugged up and everything it was just like they made some funny jokes about it like when um major called peyton over and it was like you know he um said you know robbie said he would like pleasure me for my keys and silly stuff like that so it's like they had the jokes but they had the serious stuff too where he was you know fighting through like cravings and stuff so that he could have this vision which would of course you know help peyton out so definitely cool i, I like that storyline i like to said the stuff with um blaine's dad was definitely great at the end and all in all i thought it was a a pretty decent episode i thought it was um interesting how well paced it was i guess because it seemed like there was a lot going on and they even touched a little bit on uh clive and you know the whole relationship deal going on there because uh the new officer she asked him like you know how did you learn on this training and then of course she asked him to come over and so he's like cool and then naturally when they go through the um whole process of like you know how do you start a relationship within the workplace like is it legal is it not legal and it's like it's legal you know who else is participating in this and it's like oh well if dale raised her hand then i kind of have to raise mine which you know of course brought up some questions so i think i have to assume that that'll be ending um because dale was of course there and it's like you know clive was like you know it's not really my thing and you know he kind of explained exactly how it felt and of course you know it doesn't end up working out for him and you know, Dale was on the other side of that, and it doesn't go anywhere in this episode, so of course we'll see that either in the next one or, you know, the one after next, but I assume that relationship, you know, is kind of dead and gone, not that she's, oddly enough, um, this is like the most she's technically been with the characters, because she's literally trapped in the city, and I feel like we've seen her less than we did when she, like, first showed up as a character when they were, like, you know, first, like, secretly together, I feel like we saw her way more back then than we ever did, you know, now, even though we're only a few episodes in, we, like, never see her, I think this is only, like, the maybe the third episode she's actually you know showing up in 
Um, so it's just interesting. It's like, yeah, she doesn't really... It, it's just kind of funny, like, considering all the characters are trapped. Normally, it's like, oh, that character left, and that's why you don't see them there in an episode, when really it's just like, they just didn't write a part. And it's just kind of funny, where it's like, they're just, they're all, like, right there all the time, and we never actually get to see her. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the episode. Looking forward to where it's headed, for sure, with, uh, you know, the Clive thing, Blaine and his dad. Obviously, this whole stuff with Liv, you know, helping people break into the city, and, you know, curing them, and turning them into more zombies. That's gonna get chaotic. It always does with this show, but I'm sure it'll work for a little bit. Maybe some of those members will get killed off. Maybe it'll be to do with the camera. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Maybe somebody will end up getting that footage, and that'll be, like, the next big thing maybe that'll happen that maybe that'll be like the big story for the next season or something but definitely looking forward to where it's headed we got some good stuff in this one of course we'd love to know what you guys thought about it so please comment below let me know your favorite parts your least favorite parts and i would love to know now that um blaine is officially reunited with his really crappy father i would love to know where you guys think that's headed because i thought blaine was gonna find out because his dad was just gonna i i thought their storylines were gonna be separated for a super long time and then it would just be like boom here it is like it's just holy crap that's my dad that's been you know the crazy leader of the church but you know they kind of confront each other much earlier than i expected which i'm totally fine with because now that means it'll just be weirder earlier so i would love to know your predictions on how that's going to end up playing out i still have like my theory is that we'll still see his dad become like the main opposition of fillmore graves so that kind of throws blaine under the bus again which you know he's the bad guy so i was like who cares but you know, that gets him wrapped up in some bad stuff again as one of, you know, one of the main enemies of, you know, the conglomerate. So I'm curious how that'll play out now, but I would love to know your predictions. And of course, we'd love to know what you guys thought about this episode in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.